This is my mid-1920s La Pacific uh, banjo ukulele. Get it in frame there. Um, I know it's mid-1920s besides researching it uh, because this was owned by probably some big man on campus, college guy you can't see, and that's a webcam, won't be able to focus, but there's all sorts of faded um, pencil inscriptions uh, and autographs and even a little pencil drawing of a, of a cool uh, flapper chick. Um, with curly hair, um, with uh, with the signature uh, 1926 Debra or something. So obviously some dude had this. Uh, I was playing this. Uh, I got this when I was nine years old, and I would go uh, learn how to play it, uh, and would go to fourth grade uh, show and tell. Uh, show and in show and tell days in fourth grade, I'd bring the ukulele in and sing and play for the class. I was pretty popular nerd. Uh, but anyway, uh, yeah, one of the first tunes I learned uh, from an Arthur Godfrey book was Five Foot Two Eyes of Blue, and I learned how to tune it, and it is a banjo, it's cool, it's, it's a banjo uke, it's a, it sounds like a banjo, and you know, my dog has fleas, fleas has dog, my, that's how I was trying to tune it, anyway, um, So yeah, somebody brought up, I brought up I privatized the blue with a friend of mine, so let's see. Five foot two, eyes are blue, but oh what those five feet can do, has anybody seen my gal? Uh, turned up nose, turned down hose, flapper, yes sir, one of those, has anybody seen my gal? If you should run into a five foot two covered in furs, diamond rings, and all those things, you bet your life that isn't her. When could she love? Could she coo? Could she, could she, could she coo? Has anybody seen my gal? Has anybody seen my gal? Awesome. Anyway, yep, yeah, that was, this is my axe. And uh, it's cool. Not a rare. It's not rare. Uh, I looked it up. I mean, it's not like it's worth a bunch of money or anything, but it is It is a real deal 1920s La Pacific, um, which my dad traded for an antique wine press, um, which he had traded for another antique, and we went to the music store and put a bridge on it and uh, some strings and some new tuning pegs that were rotted out. So there you go. 1925. Mid-1920s, La Pacific.